We all know gamers are the most oppressed of any group of people that has ever existed. I mean, this is just factually true. And now, well, some terif- truly terrifying, terrifying new models of what avid gamers could look like in just 20 years. Could you imagine? Now, this article, which is written by a dubious source that would prefer gamers be doing other things with their time, let's take a little look. Now, I'm going to tell you to prepare yourself because as the mirror Dakota UK has called this terrifying, another uh, website calls it horrifying. Are you ready? Let's see how we did. Yeah. Mirror. Mirror! <laughs> you understand that? Excessive use of mouse and keyboard causes numbness. <laughs> what I have to work with here. <laughs> you can call me... Gamer. Oh, no! Nettie! Huh? No, that ain't gonna do it. <laughs> oh, it's just so terrifying. Future Gamer. Online researchers from onlinecasino.ca hmm, hmm, have predicted what avid gamers could look like in just 20 years if they don't change their habits. What do you mean? You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. I, what's wrong with this picture? Look at that bulge. You know this gamer's packing heat, and why wouldn't they buy a shirt that fit them? Come on. With the UK now it's in its third week of lockdown, many Brits have turned to gaming in hopes of filling their time stuck in the house. But a new study looking into the effects of gaming on the human body may put you off gaming for a while. Yes, that's right. Playing video games completely removes your ability to eat right or exercise. Everybody knows this. I mean, come on. With a new study, researchers from a shill website have predicted what avid gamers could look like in just 20 years if they don't change their habits. The team created a model called Michael, who doesn't look too well. To create Michael, the team looked at research reports into physical effects of staying indoors, sat in a chair while staring at a screen. What about the Nintendo Switch? You can play that as you're walking. What about tablet gaming? And by the way, why is it a male? Where's Michelle? I demand a model for Michelle. Hi, um, I'm a recovering gamer. This is my gamer and sister that I take care of. I'd like some welfare, please. Why isn't everybody calling this out? Oh, is it because it makes, oh, it makes fun of men? Is that why? I mean, come on, everybody. Where's Michelle? The researchers explain the visualization shows Michael as a pale, has pale and pasty skin from years of being in artificial light and the result, result of lack of vitamin D and B12. You could take tablets for these, by the way. The stress-related eczema across his legs and arms and permanently bent back for poor posture. What do you mean? Don't you have a PewDiePie chair? Can your chair do this? Oh wait, mine, I don't have a PewDiePie chair. PewDiePie, PewDiePie, send chair. PewDiePie, fellow gamer, send chair, please. Look at this crappy. You can't even see it. It's that bad. You don't even know if I have a chair beneath me. If I had a PewDiePie chair, probably would protect my back. Michael has painful bloodshot eyes due to extended periods of staring at a screen. What about gamer glass? What happened to gamer glass? We need that back. Hands, unsurprisingly, years of gaming has had a detrimental effect on Michael's hands. What is this? What? Why? Why is it? What is wrong with his thumb? They look like big, good, strong hands, don't they? I always thought that's what they were. What's going on here? Calluses? Blisters? Look, anybody knows, any good guitar player would tell you, or drummer, or musician, or gamer, you're going to build up callus. You're not going to have gross blisters. Fake gamer exposed. The model also suffers from oncolysis, 
Am I saying that? Onycholysis? A nail disordered caused by repetitive trauma such as tapping fingernails on a keyboard or controller causing the fingernail to loosen from its nail bed. What? Well, show me the nails. Oh, here we go. Back and shoulders. Finally, Mike has developed a hunchback and rounded shoulders. Yeah, because premium gaming chairs don't give you any ability. Good lord! Look at this mad lad. Indent in skull. What? What is that from? Indent in skull from pressure of overuse of headphones. Headphones are, are putting a, b what? Bald patches, lack of sunlight and vitamin D. I don't think that thick male pattern baldness is a thing. Bloodshot eyes from staring at a computer. Dark circles from, view from sleep deprivation and excessive screen time. Hunched back from poor posture. Obese, increase in food intake and lack of exercise. Why is his stomach dented in and bruised around his belly button? Is that from balancing something on it? Eczema, stress induced. What do you mean? Gaming doesn't cause stress? Pale skin from vitamin deficiency. Really? Wait a minute. What is this? What, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. PlayStation thumb? PlayStation thumb. What the heck is that? Repetitive strain injury from excessive use of controller. A brand new disease. PlayStation, when will you answer for your crimes against gamers? PlayStation thumb is real. It's affecting tens of gamers worldwide. Nintendo arthritis. Ulceration on hands from excessive controller or keyboard use. Nintendo arthritis. So Xbox wins. I don't see any Xbox related diseases. Sorry, gamers. Console, the console wars are over. Microsoft wins. Declared non detrimental to your body. It's over. Xbox wins. Yay, Xbox wins. Yay. Carpal tunnel or first person shooter carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> what? Blistering on fingertips, excessive use of controller. Fake gamer. Fake gamer would never develop blisters. They would have strong callus. Trigger finger. Repetitive strain injury. What about Minecraft? What about Minecraft finger? Swollen ankles from lack of movement. What is this guy? Varicose veins. Result of poor blood flow from sitting down long periods. You're not helping them. You're hurting them. A condition that slowly develops over time, a hyperextended neck, rounded shoulders, or a hunchback will start as dull pain occasionally and work its way from your neck and hands and back strands that slowly create a bend in the neck, which creates a hunchback. Literally what? I'm sure this has nothing. I mean, wouldn't you rather us log into your online casino? Wouldn't that be better? They're urging gamers to take proper breaks from their gaming sessions. Exercise, making sure you take time to stretch and get exercise. Evenly light the room, gamers. Avoid glare on your screen by evenly lighting the room. Follow a healthy diet. Is G Fuel and Doritos the same thing? By the way, did you guys see this? I'm gonna need, Jonas, you're gonna need to whip up a commercial for this. I saw Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. This is a real product, I'm told. Why? Damn this virus! We've got Doritos Mountain Dew flavor. These are currently an Australian exclusive, so I am very excited about it. Limited edition. Limited edition. No! If I would have, I, if it was out there, I'd want it. I need my Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. How come none of these are talking about going and playing in an online casino? And then this, of course, researchers. I'm really concerned. Oh my God, look at him. Why? Why does he look pregnant and he has boobs? What is happening to this guy? What? Well, look at his head. His head. Look at his head. It's totally smashed in from wearing headphones. Look at his, what is going on? You've got to be kidding me. I love how nobody's actually linking. Oh no, here, they got a link. 
By the way, uh, I used to do search engine optimization for a living. That's exactly what this is. You create a piece of essentially clickbait or like, um, you know, you want people to link back to your site because you write an absurd article. That's what this is. They're just trying to get traffic. We're just, they're just a meet Michael, the future gamer. The future is now. We at hyperlink back to our website conducted and studied and predicted. We reveal Michael, the future gamer of 2040. What's wrong? My name is Hans. Gaming it has ruined my life. I'm 31 years old. According to Limelight, the average gamer spends six hours a week playing online video games, which is an increase of 19.3%. Why? Where? Where is Michelle? We need Michelle! A plan to support. The NHL is launching a long-term plan to fix gaming disorder. But didn't the WHO just tell us all that we should be playing more video games because we're stuck at home? I don't know what to do. This is all so confusing to me. Do I have more pictures? Oh, look at that hat. Look at his hat. God, why is his belly flat like that? With the why does he also look like he's never showered? What is what is what is this? Why is what what? <laughs> Sorry, gamers, this is your future. Rest in pepperonis. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.